Welcome back. Dissatisfactory. Oh, I owe you guys a video. It's the Crystal Oscillator Factory. And I used this found uh, this facade. And honestly, I'm going to put the video up. I'm not going to change it. I do want you to see the super negative effects of using a one meter foundation as part of your blueprint. Now, maybe I don't know how to do it right, but it turned into a nightmare trying to line a one meter foundation based blueprint with non one meter foundation blueprint. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all of my blueprints make sure that they're built directly on the blueprint designer and we're going to do that now let me copy this name clear it and paste that name uh, i can't save it quite yet but that's okay so the reason why we had that one meter foundation before is because we needed something to base our angles on Right? You can't build angled walls. Maybe you can. I just don't know how to do it. If I turn these, it's always on the 90s. It's on the cardinal directions, as it were. So, what, what I did was I put down a foundation, right? And we turn that. And then when you go back for a wall, you can... Look at now you can't not it snaps to the foundation. Okay? Foundations are doing their job. So what we're gonna do in order to fix that is we're gonna build up four, and I haven't tried this. We're, we're dealing in the theoreticals at this point. Then we're gonna build foundation. I want you on this side. Thank you. And in here, we're going to build. Okay, so now it's not going to snap where we want it to snap, which is right here. Let's put in a half and a full. There we go. Oh, that'll do it. Take out the half, rebuild the full. And now we have this to build on. That's not pokey and out enough. Yeah. Hold on. So we want this foundation to be right here. So it aligns up with this horizontal line. That's where we want it. I guess the other way to do this would be to just zoop it. I think one of those is correct, right? And now 
we get the angle design with integration into our other blueprints, which is directly on the blueprint designer. But then when we go to build this, we just zoop out a foundation like normal, and then we can connect everything nicely. All right, we need some architecture. Kind of enjoying the brutalist all concrete vibe lately. This is good. We're going to have to use this version of it very soon. Try to squeeze it into our next build just so we can see how much easier and how much nicer it goes down. What does this look like if it overlaps? I'm curious. Don't be curious. Let's, well... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we won't mess around with that. We'll default this to all the oranges. My trains are lighting. You're wondering what that blinking is. Making me sad. Set this to no background. It's just kind of a light beam there. Hmm. Need some power a little closer. I might like that way a little better. We can decide if you want to put the text in there or not. And we did experience a very odd, very odd um, bug where some of this didn't connect and would never turn on. I went back afterwards and redid all the lights manually, but I shouldn't have to do that.
but I'm doubling the light amount. Yeah, I don't know if I like this inverted look. Easily connect some lights, and this will connect. The manufacturer height is typically four, in my blueprints anyway. So this ceiling should easily connect. We're not going to build the bottom. We're going to leave this concrete, and then this will stack up into infinity, right? The glass here will just become the glass here. These pipes will go up. These columns will go up as well. But I think I'm going to put that down as lessons learned. We're going to build. <laughs> We're not going to have any foundations in our blueprint on the, the lowest level. Factory face one angle. It's not exactly what I thought I named it, but it'll be fine. We're going to use a... Hmm... we we'll use the window that we used. Now let's get, let's see if we can get fancy. Save that one. Can we get two angles? Well, the basic question is, go here and we go here. Set this like this. And this like this it's four windows high this is a plain window at this point Grab another window. We'll put you down. Help us mark. Oh, zoop. That shadow scared me for a second there.
Hmm, I don't know if I like this. Center panel. I need a really big pillar. Is that touching enough to consider it fully built? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Is it though? Because I can kind of see a little gap there. What am I, an architect at this point? Some sort of a uh, building inspector. Let's get rid of this. I could use the big one again. Or I could use a small one, which would give it a little bit more. But we got to get to the edge. So let's use the big one. I like this edge, but I don't like the center edge. And I like this side, too. Hmm. Seeing that gap is just too annoying. If I had small metal pillar, I might consider that. Let's see what that looks like. Are you kidding me? There we go. be a thing. And then right in here, do my little organizational thing. Portrait sign. Sometimes the height isn't exactly what you expect. Oh, but that is what it is. I don't know which version of this thing I'm going to use this for yet, so I might not name that. Let's get some ceiling lights going. Right on the edge. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like we can't put this in the middle, so we should. Right there. I guess we could set these to something as our default, all right? Get all the setup done. Uh-oh. What I miss? Oh. I missed everything. We'll just grab any random part to start. All right, here we go. There's our two-phase factory facade. Should I, uh... Should we floodlight the outer side? Oh, this will only connect if it's walls. I mean, we could make it walls. Ooh, that's going to be a weird size. It's either halfway into the glass or... Let's see where we are here. Yeah, I don't think I like that. The other thing I could try is... Experimenting. I don't even like the way that's even hinting at working. I think we're good. We'll let the ceiling lights inside be our outer decoration as well. And we'll call this one back Tory Base Two Angle. There. Everything is now on the same foundational plane, and that's going to make building with these things much, much easier. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to my toolbar. I'm going to make sure that my new one angle is the one and my two angle is the option, and then we'll build the rest of it from there. So there you go. Lesson learned. And the lesson we learned here is always build your blueprints at the same level of foundation. Trust me on this. If you do anything else, you will be sad.
Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.